I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about vitamin B12 or cobalamin as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage and side effects. Vitamin B12 or cobalamin is one of eight water-soluble B vitamins that are absolutely vital to the highly optimized brain and is essential to every cell in your body including your brain. Vitamin B12 as a nootropic can improve alertness, energy levels, boost attention span, concentration, intelligence, and memory. B12 supplementation can help relieve stress, depression, insomnia, and help balance your mood. Vitamin B12 is called cobalamin because it contains the rare earth element cobalt. Vitamin B12 is absorbed in your intestines from food or a supplement using a process called intrinsic factor. The vitamin is then transferred to transcobalamin 2, which acts as a transporter. Through a very complex process, which I'm not going to try to explain here, B12 is converted into the active forms coenzyme 5 deoxydenosyl and methacobalamin. Now, foods rich in vitamin B12 include fish, shellfish, meat, especially liver poultry, eggs, milk, and milk products. The two best sources by far of B12 are clams and liver. You cannot get adequate amounts of vitamin B12 from plants. Vegetarians and vegans are especially in danger of B12 deficiency, regardless of what the food and supplement manufacturers say. Plant foods contain analogs of B12 which are similar to but not the same as vitamin B12. They bind to B12 receptors and block the uptake of true B12. Now, trying to get your vitamin B12 from yeast products like Red Star Nutritional Yeast or Marmite is also a problem. These products do not naturally contain B12 but are fortified with it. And vitamin B12 is light sensitive. If it's stored in uh, open bins or clear plastic bags or jars, B12 just kind of vaporizes and disappears. Now, meat and animal products are your best source of natural vitamin B12. But once again, relying solely on food for adequate B12 is difficult because it's destroyed during cooking. You are much safer using a good vitamin B12 supplement for your nootropic stack. And we'll talk about the different types available a little bit further on in this video. Well first, vitamin B12 increases cognition. Vitamin B12 is a precursor in the biosynthesis of all the major neurotransmitters in your brain, including acetylcholine, dopamine, GABA, norepinephrine, and serotonin. Vitamin B12 is an integral part of the one carbon cycle involved in the synthesis of methionine. This amino acid, methionine, donates the methyl group required for methylation to occur. This biochemical process helps synthesize neurotransmitters, myelin, which is the sheath that protects neurons and axons, and keeps homocysteine levels in check. Elevated levels of homocysteine have been associated with several neurodegenerative diseases, including Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Even mild vitamin B12 deficiency has been associated with accelerated cognitive decline. Now, researchers at Tufts University examined data for 549 men and women enrolled in the Framingham Heart Study. They focused on scores on the Mini Mental State Examination, or MMSE, which is a short list of questions and tasks used to screen for dementia. The subjects were divided into five groups based on their vitamin B12 blood levels. MMSE scores declined by 0.24 points per year over the eight-year follow-up period. Cognitive decline was faster in the bottom two groups that had the lowest levels of vitamin B12. The researchers concluded that having plasma or blood vitamin B12 levels from 187 to 256 parts per million predicts especially rapid cognitive decline. And the second way, vitamin B12 helps reduce depression. Vitamin B12 is a precursor in the biosynthesis of GABA and serotonin. GABA is an amino acid and neurotransmitter produced by glutamate in your brain. 
This inhibitory neurotransmitter prevents other excitatory neurotransmitters from being released, resulting in an anti-anxiety and calming effect. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter made from the amino acid tryptophan. This inhibitory neurotransmitter governs the stimulatory neurotransmitter dopamine from overwhelming your brain. Adequate serotonin levels make you feel confident, easygoing, flexible, happy, and positive. Now, one case study out of India reviewed the case of a 57-year-old woman who was given months of antipsychotic and antidepressant medications, including two rounds of electroshock therapy before anyone thought to check her vitamin B12 levels. This woman's symptoms included anxiety, constipation, movement abnormalities, perceptual disturbances, um, hearing her name called, lethargy, tearfulness, and finally catatonia. She remained depressed, suicidal, and lethargic despite the treatment. Within two months of identifying her vitamin B12 deficiency and subsequent treatment, this woman reverted to her baseline 14 years before and remained stable with no additional treatment, just with vitamin B12. When you take vitamin B12 as a nootropic supplement, it is transported across your intestinal wall by the carrier protein intrinsic factor. It is then degraded, freeing cobalamin to be attached to transcobalamin 2 for transport to cells in your body. Vitamin B12 is a cofactor in the one carbon cycle that is required for the synthesis of DNA, RNA, the neurotransmitters acetylcholine, dopamine, GABA, norepinephrine, and serotonin, and the myelin sheath that protects each of the axons attached to your neurons in your brain. Now this one carbon pathway is involved in the synthesis of the amino acid methionine. This amino acid donates methyl groups for the methylation of DNA, RNA, neurotransmitters, and myelin. Methionine is synthesized from the amino acid homocysteine. Preventing high levels of this amino acid to accumulate will prevent problems throughout your body including neurodegenerative disease. Cobalamin is also required for the conversion of certain enzymes for the myelin sheath that protects your axons in your brain. Problems with this conversion degrades myelin, causing problems with your central nervous system and damaging axons on the neurons in your brain. Now, vitamin B12 can help reduce the severity and frequency of asthma attacks and allergies. It can reverse the signs of uh, early signs of Alzheimer's disease if caught on time. It can lift your mood by boosting the happy molecule serotonin in your brain. It can reduce the side effects of metformin in di diabetes patients. It provides optimal concentration, focus, and memory. It reduces the, ri reduces the rise of macular degeneration and prevents blindness. It maintains healthy hair, skin, and nails. It removes homocysteine and protects your heart. It raises sperm counts and improves sperm mobility in men. It prevents neuron damage if you lack intrinsic factor. It reduces some of the symptoms of schizophrenia. And it helps prevent osteoporosis and builds strong bones. The key message here is to maintain optimal levels of vitamin B12 in your body and brain. Now, don't be duped by marketers selling vitamin B12 energy drinks for boosting more energy or a magic pill to boost memory or aid in weight loss. If you have a specific health problem like pernicious anemia or are deficient in this vitamin, then B12 alone as a supplement can help. If you maintain optimal levels of vitamin B12 in your system, supplementing will not increase your energy levels. Vitamin B12 is a key brain vitamin that plays an important role in a healthy nervous system and optimally functioning brain. Low levels of B12 can definitely lead to poor memory and cognition. Neurohackers who supplement with vitamin B12 report a reduction in brain fog and better sleep. People on statins for cholesterol and metformin for diabetes report a dramatic decrease in pain. Neurohackers report better focus and mood, colors seem brighter and more intense, 
energy levels seem to improve and an overall improved sense of well-being. If you are vitamin B12 deficient, you may feel a big boost in energy and feelings of deep exhaustion can disappear within a few days. Now, much of the research on vitamin B12 and B12 deficiency are presented as individual case reports on one person rather than like large clinical studies. Now, one report in French was about a woman with no history of psychiatric problems. But upon admission, she was uncooperative, um, she, she was disoriented, she had memory and attention problems, she had a sleep disorder, and she looked older than her real age. This woman was depressed, had a guilt complex, she devalued herself, and her movements and speech were very slow. A lab test revealed that she had a problem with intrinsic factor. Her therapy was vitamin B12 replacement using hydroxycobalamin, 1,000 milligrams per day for 10 days. Her mental state improved dramatically within a few days. In another case report was of a middle-aged man with obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD. He was given methacobalamin therapy and symptoms of OCD dramatically improved. Now I've got a number of other case studies like this over on Nootropic Sex for in the original transcript of this video. I've got for one for vitamin B12 and folate preventing Alzheimer's disease. And I've got another detailed study on how vitamin B12 is used to treat depression. So if you want to see more details on these studies, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for vitamin B12 or click on the link below this video. Vitamin B12 is water-soluble and considered non-toxic in recommended doses. A varied diet, including meat, seafood and milk products should provide enough vitamin B12 to prevent deficiency. But vegetarians and vegans cannot get enough B12 from food and should supplement. Typical recommended dosage for nootropic benefit for optimal brain health is 100 micrograms or 1 milligram of vitamin B12 per day. Neurohackers older than 40 and those who have a problem with vitamin B12 absorption should use 100 to 400 micrograms or 1 to 4 milligrams of B12 per day. And if you test vitamin B12 deficient, now the, the naturopaths, this is what they recommend. The dosage is 2,000 micrograms daily for one week and then a thousand microgram doses of B12 once per week for month and then after that your maintenance dose is a thousand micrograms monthly. Vitamin B12 is non-toxic so is considered well tolerated and safe. Doses as high as two milligrams of vitamin B12 daily by mouth or one milligram monthly by injection have been shown to produce no significant side effects. Now when high doses of vitamin B12 are given orally, only a small percentage can be absorbed, which likely explains the low toxicity levels. Proton pump inhibitors and other drugs used to treat acid reflux is known to prevent absorption of vitamin B12, so you may need to take your B12 sublingually or under your tongue. Antibiotics drugs to treat gout and metformin to treat diabetes all decrease vitamin B12 levels and B12 absorption. Now, If you use any of these drugs you should have your levels checked and possibly supplement with vitamin B12. Nitrous oxide used as an anesthetic and recreational drug oxidizes and inactivates the vitamin B12 so you should likely get tested and possibly supplement with B12. Vitamin B12 is available as tablets, capsules, liquid uh, drops, sublingual tablets, sprays, and lozenges. The sublingual tablets, sprays, and lozenges are marketed as more absorbable or bioavailable. Now, some clinical studies do not support this claim, but user experience shows otherwise. Check the reviews. Logic tells us that a lozenge or a spray absorbed under your tongue gets into your bloodstream and across your blood-brain barrier more readily than something you swallow and need to digest. 
low quality vitamin B12 supplements and B12 found in multivitamins or B complex formulas is usually cyanocobalamin. This form of B12 is not well absorbed and produces a small amount of cyanide in your body. Now, this is a, a quick check. If you want to, uh, if you, you're trying to figure out whether to buy a particular multivitamin and they've got B12 in it, check to see what kind of vitamin B12 they have. If they've got cyanocobalamin on the label, I put it back on the shelf. I don't want to be taking cyanide. Higher quality vitamin B12 comes as methocobalamin or adenosylcobalamin, which are the forms of B12 naturally occurring in your body. Methocobalamin is your better choice if you are deficient in B12 or have the MTHFR genetic de deficit or defect, which reduces your ability to methylate this vitamin. Adenosylcobalamin works better for some who want to avoid the cyanide that comes with cyanocobalamin that I mentioned before and who can't tolerate methocobalamin. Hydroxycobalamin is another high quality of vitamin B12 that converts to methocobalamin in your body. If you test vitamin B12 deficient, your doctor may encourage you to get vitamin B12 shots, especially if you have pernicious anemia, nerve damage, or chronic digestive problems like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. But research has found that taken B12 supplements are as effective as B12 shots, and user reviews support this finding. Note that vitamin B12 needs to be balanced with vitamin B6 and folate for best results if using this as a nootropic supplement. So my nootropics expert recommendation for vitamin B12 is 1 milligram a day. And that's my report on vitamin B12. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for vitamin B12. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll find the full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using vitamin B12, use the comments section at the bottom of the post on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. And if you want to see more videos and all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.